Hi, and welcome to Anne Marie's Workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy, you have found the right place. Please like, subscribe, and share, and turn on those notification bells so you can catch up with me and what I get up to. This is my hashtag Friday Sews video where I kind of recap everything I've been working on this week. Well, as you know, this month is my hashtag so reversible 2024 challenge. So I have been working on those things. I just finished this week my Veronica Tucker, uh, the label capsule. And you know, I absolutely loved how those turns out, turned out. I love the black velvet. I love the chocolate. I loved all of that. All right, so I have moved on to some other things. I am working with this fabric to make a dress hold on let me find the envelope and show you you've seen this in the books now in order to make this i've got to figure out how all these motifs are going to work so i'm kind of doing it by braille i'm putting the fabric pieces on there see how it's going to work i'm really it's really a tunic on top of the tears the tears really frankly are simple on this on this uh, on car print they really are it's just figuring out the tunic so that's what I'm working on today I have already cut out a few um, today of the I'm coming I'm coming a few I uh, a few of the I think it's called the Eden let me be sure I don't want to lead you wrong but I think it's called the Eden yeah yeah, it's called the Eden. I've cut out a few of these bomber jackets because my webbing, my ribbing came in the mail and you know I love a bomber jacket. So, I really wanna have my dress and have an, of this six yard piece and have enough left over to do a reversible bomber jacket with um, white cotton denim on one side and this Ankara on the other side. Wish me luck. We'll see if we can pull it off. All right, so this is gonna be a very short video. My my dad's nurse is not feeling too well, so I'm on duty today, this morning. So um, I'm gonna be heading downstairs to take care of um, him and all of his needs. And so I'll be popping back and forth, but I just wanted to put out a little Friday sales video. It's gonna be very, very short. Stay tuned for the little haul and I'll show you what I picked up this week. All right, take care. Hi, Friday sewers. I have a teeny haul for you this week. Um, I ordered some of these mega snaps from Amazon. I was so pleased at how well they held on that Lantana shirt dress that I, but I've used all of them because they were left over from another project. Oh uh, yeah, uh, the Maker's Atelier pea coat. I used them on that. This is a great alternative if you have large decorative buttons and you're not gonna cut a buttonhole. Like if you have a button this big, you're not gonna use buttonholes because it would deform the fabric too much unless they're bound buttonholes, even then, even then. So a great uh, way to do that is to sew the button on the front and sandwich these powerful snaps in between. They're about the size, they're a little bigger than a nickel. Uh, they're not quite a quarter, but they're pretty big and they're pretty intense. So I got some of those because I had used all of the ones I had out. I got them on Amazon. Um, I love a bomber jacket and you know with this so reversible challenge, I have to make another bomber jacket. The flower bomber was from last year. I, maybe two. <laughs> anyway, so I love a bomber jacket. I like a silky one that's on Maker's Atelier. And I like an unusual one that I got from, hold on, let me find the magazine. And then there's this one called the Eden from Fiber Mood. I've been dying to work on it, but I needed, I was out of um, rib edging because you know bombers have rib edging at the bottom and I needed certain colors to match the fabric so I got some classic black because I use that at all this is from mood I just love the qu quality of the rib knit 
It's like store level, works with leather, works with all kinds of fabrics. I just really love these. And I ended up buying it in the blue, but it doesn't match. I will use it for something else, but it's a brilliant blue. And I think I, I think I have, I have leftover and I think this is going to be a better match than this. I think this is as close as I can get to the brilliant blue. And then I bought red because I have a beautiful fabric that um, needs the red. And I bought silver. I call it silver because I have this idea for a silver bomber that I can't wait to work on. And so I got some of that. So that's it. I got one, two, I got ribbing and snaps. And that's all this week. Nope, I lied. I ordered a frame uh, to hold ribbon. I have one in wood over there, but I saw one on Timu that was metal. And I have isn't that nice? And it, it can be thread as well, because believe it or not, I also need room for thread and the pieces fit like that. All right, so I think that's gonna be perfect because I, ha I, have, I still have ribbon that's not displayed. I'm sorry guys, if I can't see it, it doesn't exist. I mean, some things I kind of know where they, I, I always know where they are, I keep them in a certain place. But when I'm ready to create, I cannot be frustrated by not being able to find something. So everything I have is clear, labeled. And if it's not clear and labeled, it has to be something that's very, very established in my memory. You know, it has to be something like where, where I keep my patterns and stuff. And I don't even like where I'm keeping my very large patterns because they're in an armoire. I prefer the clear containers with them. So I think when I, at the end of the year, I'm planning on working on the two buckets of leftover projects, projects that I cut out this year or last year or five years ago, um, I'm going to clear those two containers um, in the last two months of the year. And I'll have a space to transfer my very large um, PDF patterns that are already cut out over into those so that way I can see them.